I'm all ready to fill and decorate my German chocolate cupcakes. So I have my chocolate cupcakes that are here uh, cooled down to room temperature. I have my German chocolate filling, which has uh, had time to chill down completely, so it's um, it's much stiffer than um, when it was still slightly warm from making. And I have some chocolate French buttercream for uh, the final icing on these. To make a internal divot for so that there's space for this filling, I like to use a melon baller. Um, it just gives me a, a nice uh, even space to put the filling. So I just start in the center and pull about that much out. And you can save all these little scraps, little snacks. to uh, use a scoop that's just slightly bigger than the cavity that I made. Um, I want to have my filling make sure that it's just up above a little bit from the cupcake so I have a good amount of filling in there. So a nice level scoop for me and then you can kind of help that down in there if you need to. to pipe my chocolate French buttercream on top. So first I'm gonna do this with a star tip. So this is making sort of a, a giant rosette. So what you wanna do is start from the outside of the cupcake. And then when I've made one rotation around, I still have this little in the center. So I'm gonna come on a smaller rosette and fill that in. I still wanna keep my bag at the same level, so don't stop and pick up. We wanna keep the motion going while you let off your pressure so that we get that nice taper. I can also finish these with a large plain tip. Uh, this creates sort of a beehive effect and I'm gonna pipe this in the exact same way that I did with my star tip. And now because I want to be able to give some sort of hint as to what's on the inside, since I have a coconut and pecan filling, I want to put a little of that on the outside. So I have here some uh, toasted coconut flakes. <laughs> 